The bystander effect is a tendency for a person to be less likely to intervene or offer help to a stranger in an emergency situation when others may be present to help instead. An example of the bystander effect is with Catherine Kitty Genovese. On March 13, 1964, a murder happened in New York. 28-year-old Kitty Genovese came home from work and was attacked. It was noted in the initial account that 38 citizens watched this event unfold, but only one witness called after Kitty had already died. There are numerous myths associated with this case, but it still demonstrates the bystander effect. The Katie Genovese case prompted further research on conditions in which people will actively give aid to others. One condition thought by John Darley and Bib Ladine was that the presence of others at a scene allows individuals to dilute responsibility because others are bound to help. Another condition thought by Peter Fisher stated that the more dangerous a situation is, then others are more likely to help. Fisher also noted that more men in a group may lead to more aid. Regardless of the conditions, the bystander effect is fed by a tendency to feel more anonymous and less accountable in groups. These feelings can result into de-individuation. De-individuation is the lessening of self-awareness or identity when in a group, leading to reduced concern with how your and other behaviors will be evaluated. In Kitty's case, the ones who didn't help assumed others would, leading to de-individuation within themselves. Overall, it's important to understand the bystander effect in order to become more self-aware in dangerous situations, as it may have someone's life at stake, like the case of Katie Genovese.